This video was produced entirely on Steam Deck. Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Linux for Everyone, and welcome home. A quick disclaimer up front, this video is targeted at Linux beginners. But keep watching if you're curious about Flatpak software, Steam Deck stuff, or if you just want to support the channel with your eyeballs. So I'm challenging myself to use the Steam Deck as my only PC, and so far it has been a moderately successful experiment. I've hosted, recorded, and edited a two-hour video chat on this thing. I've even used Valve's chonky Linux handheld to game at 1080p while using OBS to live stream at 720p. But SteamOS, the operating system that's driving the deck, it's not as flexible as a typical Linux distribution, and that's because Valve built it with what's called an immutable file system. So all of the important system areas of the operating system are read-only. On the surface, you might think this complicates things when it comes to installing software, but I think it actually makes for a cleaner, more streamlined user experience. Anyway, if you've tried to follow some guides and you've seen errors while using the Arch Package Manager to install something, that immutable file system is probably the reason why. Maybe this sounds like an undesirable situation, and that's fair, but let's have our friend and our guy, Gardner, jump in to briefly explain why an immutable file system is ideal. Importantly, immutability of the core OS files provides a consistent environment for Steam, for game developers, for the games that are running on the system, and for end users. If an update breaks, the problem lies with Valve or the game developer, not with you as the end user. This keeps support tickets to a minimum and ensures a smooth experience running SteamOS or the game that you're playing. This keeps the user experience simple. SteamOS 3.0 was designed with simplicity in mind, and an immutable file system prevents the user from accidentally installing apps or doing things beyond what SteamOS was meant to do, and that's play games. Many of my fellow Steam Deck owners will be experiencing desktop Linux for the first time. Have people told you it's impossible to get anything done without resorting to the command line? That's totally false. Linux has evolved and it's super easy to get apps installed and get to work thanks to a software format called Flatpak. On Steam Deck, the Discover Store is your gateway to tons of useful Flatpak software, a good chunk of which you're probably already familiar with. And they can be installed with literally a single click, making it faster and easier to install your favorite apps than it is on Windows. Flatpak itself is a way of distributing software that works on almost every single Linux distribution out there. I wanna keep this video on the short side, so let's talk a little more about Flatpaks in a future one. For now, let me introduce you to the Discover Store and show you a few neat examples of what you can find in there. If you've never checked out your Steam Deck's desktop mode, let's get into it. Just hold down the power button until a power menu appears and then select Switch to Desktop. You'll be dropped into a desktop that should look and feel familiar if you're coming from Windows. So this is your application launcher, your start menu basically, and here is the Discover Store. Once you fire it up, you can browse apps by category or you can get straight to what you're looking for by just searching. My first stop, especially for doing YouTube videos, is OBS Studio. Microsoft and Valve teamed up recently to get Xbox Cloud Gaming working on Steam Deck, so let's grab Edge to play with that later. Maybe you prefer a browser like Brave or Chrome? Those are here too. And maybe you want some chat apps like Telegram, Discord, or Signal. One-click installs. Load them up and move on. What about running some virtual machines? Just grab yourself an app called Boxes. Then, like me, you can run Fedora 34 inside of Boxes, inside of Fedora 35, inside of Boxes on your Steam Deck. If you need your Twitter fix and you love TweetDeck, let me suggest Modern Deck. What about Spotify, Lollipop, or Plexamp for rocking your music? And I know you want some of those Nintendo emulators. Here, take this one for Sony's PSP too. Maybe you want to really flex the Steam Deck's muscle and do some music production. Apps like Bitwig are here whenever you're ready.
need to grab some torrents, you can check out Fragments. There is such a huge variety of awesome software that's here to, to suit almost any situation. And remember that flat packs are available on any Linux distribution, not just on your deck. You know, as I was producing this video, I started stumbling across so many apps that were new to me, which happens all the time, and, and a few really spiked my curiosity. So I think I'd like to explore a few of them together in, um, in dedicated videos down the road in the near future. So stay tuned to the channel. Like this video if it helped you, and subscribe if you wanna see more Steam Deck content in the near future. And if you know about a great Flatpak app that I should check out and tell people about, let me know down in the comments. As always, thank you so much for watching. Share it with a friend if you really enjoyed it. And uh, until we chat again, you guys take care and take care of each other. Bye.